folks, welcome back for the episode of Our Journeys. This is actually a special episode, a different episode, really leaning into the dual casting. So I am here with Brave Carryod, and we're going to be dual casting some games with the folks that are on the ladder and, well, pretty much anywhere today that we actually have uh, mutual accounts with. Uh, but we're going to kick things off with a just a fun deck uh, competition between the both of us. Uh, I She is, well, she can tell you about her deck. I'm running uh, Forager Follies, uh, but we're going to start off and then we'll, we'll transition into watching, uh, watching some other uh, players go and doing some casting there. So, Brave, how are you doing today? Thank you. I'm really looking forward to this um, dual casting. It's a fun experiment to run and um, this is a really, good to see, three viewers already watching us. <laughs> oh. Um, this is a really dumb this is a really dumb deck. It's a Geo deck, basically. I'm going to try and uh, make him transform into the Winged Menace. Excellent, excellent. Bright moons light your path. Ah, oh, so we've got frequency. Luck to your house. And is it my my I Am I saying that right? This is interesting. What's that? Uh, watching, we've got frequency, and is it my Yeek? I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. I uh, guess yeah, so, uh, I got official spelling it, or pronunciation is. Ma Maik, Maik. So, all right. Okay, uh, we should be good to go. I it to My Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it would be fitting. I think it would be fitting. <laughs> That'd be so funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of, I'm kind of pulling for Gu though. I, I want to see Gu. Uh oh, all right. So that's, that's, that's the the game, is it? To give him some some advanced weaponry. Ah, uh, let's see. If he turns up, I will cut your pearls. You know what? Uh... Okay, that'll work. Oh, you're baiting me there, aren't no, you? No, no, there's no baiting, no. <laughs> you're baiting me, putting Drain on the board. You know I don't like opponents winning health. <laughs> Let's put <laughs> this to Behold. Wait till you see how many supports I'm running. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do think I run, I've got the the breakthrough uh, support, if mm. I'm not mistaken. So that's... Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. Join us. <laughs> well. Right. Don't worry, I've got this. Oh my goodness. There she is. <laughs> Making her debut. Oh no. it, right, I've got to do something about this. It almost looks like Jack is oh, looking really? down her. He's like, oh my gosh, what the heck? I need Gio. He's he's being shy. Where is he? Oh, come on. You can't expect a one of to show up in a oh, Okay, okay. Let's do this. Afraid of the stick. might of my Gerald Forager, I see. I am terrified. Very wise. I am one magic off from actually making that a real uh, nut oh bunnies. Tell you what. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry, I've got this. Oh no! There's loot here. Oh yes. Oh my God. I'm, I'm like you. I, my my cards hey. show up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, to you. Where are you? Come on, darling. I am Gu. Right. I am the cowardly redeemer. You do realize? Hmm? You do realize it's traditional for me to kill Skywag. I I understand. Well, I mean, if you could try, you could try. Oh, that's not Skywag. That's Aldora. That's not no. right. That's a preemptive strike. <laughs> Boo! Do the fish Boo! You can't. You've got to go through <laughs> him first. Right. Well, I had to stop Skywag from um, coming out. I see. I always kill that bird. It's traditional. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I think I'm gonna have to do shoot, 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 shoot. Have you got a Lena in here? That's the question. Uh oh, uh, Lena. Oh, uh, I don't. Elena. I don't think so. Oh man, hmm. I'm in a tough spot. Tough spot indeed. You know what though? Is Grammar? Uh huh. <laughs> Rawr! That's right. For his grimoire. Oh my goodness, that was that was um, scary. That was right. Okay. Kajit will keep you safe. Oh, you think so, do you, Kajit? That's not <laughs> what I think. I'm not funny. Oh no. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this Let's sucks. I'm you. dark. Let's Actually, do the fish stick. No, this, nope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was the wrong thing I've equipped, so don't worry. I've done you a favor. I equipped the wrong thing. No, I I am literally one magic off from living the dream, and uh, oh no, yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> dog, gun it. Um, uh, uh. oh, good gravy. This actually might work too. This could do in a pinch. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I bark and burn. This is interesting. Uh, all right. Well. Shh. Run away! Oh my goodness! Oh no! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh well. Screw it. Die, beast! Oh no! <laughs> oh, poor Cheryl. Let's see. There's still no GU at all. This is really naughty of him. It is. See if I explain some of the rationale behind it, you're probably not going to Welcome to House Redder and Recruit. I'm going to hold off a bit so we have a bit more fun of each other's decks, but that kind of the concept is I want. If I could just get G in hand, I can use her to buff him oh. and get extra copies of him. And I've also got Sentinel Battle Mace. I've got two maces sitting here, um, ready to the get him. But will he show up? No, he won't. I was going to say, here's Jeers waiting for him to make his appearance. Yeah, exactly. Where is he? And I've even got, what's it? Bodendran, that um, support that gives you a 4 4 item and breakthrough. They're all the items. I mean, I never run items, but I thought, well, you've got to give him a chance of actually hitting something. Right. And he's not here. He stood me up. <laughs> not on, is it? It's kind of how Gu is. He's kind of a jerk. Dick. Um, I was gonna say jerk, and it came out as dick. But uh, okay, so uh, I don't really have any other play. Unfortunately, I've got two Lady Sills Cruelty in my hand, which works great if I've got a, another card on the board. But since I don't, he is going to have to to do. do uh, well done. I want to see. Well, I want to see if you can get him in your hand at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him in the hand. Let's see if we can get him first. I'll tell you what. By the sacred words of Belloc. Hmm. Observe my technique. I've got everything but you, unfortunately. <laughs> We might have to try again, but we'll see if we can get onto an Andy match because he's messaged me back in a minute. So, see if we can get an Andy match. We'll just try with GU later, though, can't we? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, and I kind of want to actually try this guy out. Oh, crap. I'm not going to be able to because, well. Oh. Come for trouble, eh? Aha! Nobody plays oh. this guy! My scales moving <laughs> shadow. Uh, he is cool, isn't he? I, I, he could be, because, I mean, he has breaks, oh, oh, you're burning cards anyway, doggone it. Well. No, don't worry about it, I've got an answer to that, so I can tell you straight away. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I see how it you is. That should be G. Huh? <laughs> that, should, that should be GU, shouldn't it, really? Let's face that. I mean, well, it's pretty, it pretty much is. I mean, come on, that's, that is the essence of GU, is a 1-1 one -one getting a little bit buffer. I think this is some suitable jankiness. It is, isn't it? It's dumb. I mean, I'll let some um, Dawn guy... Or Ulfric Stormcloak! Down Alright. Come on, G. We're waiting for you. Seriously. Uh, let's see. You know... Ah, uh, wait, Hoodlum! I do love that giant. He makes such a wonderful sound, doesn't he? He does. Roar. There we go. Behold my my magnificent uh, brilliance. I love that. <laughs> oh, I forgot he doesn't have cover. <laughs> I was like, ha ha, I will hide in the shadows. But no, I am a lumbering ogrim. And uh, there is no hiding. I love Lo Ogrim. 
Do you have, and maybe not in this deck, but I used to run Ogrim with, oh, what's it called? Imposter's Mission. It's so funny. Oh, you... Um, you can kind of get him on the field and then copy him. And it, then if they toss it back to hand, it's a one cost like, with the same power as an Ogrim. Power and health. So it's really cool. Oh, I did not know that. Uh, I didn't know what would happen if they tossed it back. That's... Oh, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I, I do I do like playing Imposter's Mission, especially like with like giant decks and stuff, where you've got a bunch of cards technique. that are six or seven strength. Uh, but I don't think I'm running a, that in this deck. I am running um, the Bog Lurcher. That's what's supposed to pair with Lady Sill so I can get oh, my brilliant. Rage out early, but that hasn't shown up either. I'm just going to put some cards on board just to avoid... To avoid losing stuff. But I've shed a lot. It'd be trashy if I lose G after all this time, wouldn't it? It would, yeah, if he gets burned in a overdraw. Well, just you look out, I've got absolutely not, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but it's a support! Do you have Vicious D? No, I've got something better than that, your favorite. Oh no. The <laughs> douche! The douche! I am going to point out the hypocrisy because I'm looking at two, two supports on your side of the board. Oh, See, goodness. Ah, I defy you. <laughs> <laughs> and no G. I mean, really, where is he? What's the matter with Are you him? sure you put him in the deck? He's definitely in there. I have managed to transform him um, once, but that was only because... Oh. I can smell it. Oh, you know I have to kill Skywag, right? But by that, I mean... I forgot that was in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot that was in there. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, there he is! Oh. <laughs> oh, have you got it? Have you got Bog Lurch of Rage? I'd love it. No, oh, I... Oh, please do. I, I, at this time, I do Skywag. not. I think I... Uh, uh, did I only use one? I think I only used one. Yeah. He's here! Jeeb's here. Oh, my nice. God. Nice! Oh All my right! God. Welcome, Jeeb. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I've got no way to kill you with, with it, though, have I? That's the problem. Oh, no. Uh, what is the Damn what it. is the way to kill him? Like, um, I well, I I needed to have. Um, let me just get rid of that. Do you have rage? I am a hunter. I am a redeemer. I am Jeeb. Oh no, you doubled his strength. Oh wait, no, wait. Oh, that has four plus four. Oh, nice. Okay, I thought they just doubled his strength. I was like, that's not gonna help you. All right, so Jeeb is gonna get the the win. Uh, not necessarily if you've got rage in <laughs> that one card. That's true. Let's see if uh, let's see if I how lucky I am. The music is building. It is, isn't it? <laughs> the suspense. It's either Jeeb or Bog Lurcher. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Okay, I could do something really mean though. <laughs> I'll go on. It'd be funny. I fight with the fervor oh, of the wild should, <laughs> should she nuke poor Giyub? Oh, <laughs> turn him into... Uh, actually, it would nuke him completely. He just would be a nothing. Uh, oh, bless you. Maybe the... Uh, no. Um, well, he's going to die if he kills the Bog Lurcher anyway, so you can maybe nuke the um, rally girl. Uh, actually, you know what? You. This is this is for, for taking away my support, douche. Aha! <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm I, I'm I'm gonna totally go for lethal here. I'm a noob. Don't I'm not paying it. attention. Totally breakthrough lethal. Oh no, I forgot the ward. The ward. It prevents lethal. Oh, Remember, kids, oh, wards do not help breakthrough. So Jube. Oh, but you can't really transform them into anything. I can once I can kill her. Oh, that's but, true. That's um, true. Although, I'll speak and waste the uh, Will I don't? Th I, I think the kill is going to register before he transforms. But we'll see. I think he looks better like this. Honest. I like this version of him better than the upgraded version. It just looks cooler. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. Is he actually a werewolf? you now that's the question oh that's true let's see he's not showing as a werewolf is he um maybe if i have to give him that next round 
<laughs> Come and get me, Jube, you turd muffin. <laughs> Okay. They won't let me add it. Um, on to why? Oh, I think once oh. you've already. Let's just add it then. Oh no, hang on. If I do that, you're gonna die, aren't you? That's not fair. Um, you've helped off. Oh, oh we just yeah, no, just yeah. That, that, I wanted to see you get the get the win anyway. So. I will. Oh no. yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. We don't get to oh, see no, him ascend. Oh no. And hey, we pretty much got it at the start. So we're seeing Aros. Dot MPO against Mephisto 333. I recognize that name as well. I've not heard of that person, but it looks like he's playing his usual well um, Assassin Nixox. Apologies. Oh yeah, Assassin Nixox, which is ferocity. yeah, that's that's the crazy stuff right there. Um. Ouch! Look at that. I mean, why is it that people always seem to get a Modastic Champion right on curve? Yeah, yeah, he's he's a beast. And yeah, it's almost like yeah, he he gets summoned from the from I don't know. Did he, was that a top deck? Oh, I'm not sure actually. I was just um getting in. Yeah, I I didn't notice either. Whoa! I don't usually pay attention when to that. I know a lot of the more needed. advanced players do. Like they'll see where the card's coming from and know me, you know man. if they've used a oh certain card. Wow, that's painful. <laughs> Very painful. Yeah. Bad choice, but I think he has to take out the monastic champion. I thought he's going to keep um, adding board. Well, I know she is as well, but the less powerful board presence, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can take it out, do one damage to her. It doesn't really have, at this point, anything else. Really, he's definitely in a tough spot. Yeah, yeah that was really the only. Although he could have just done two and three, right? He could have hit one of the other ones for one damage. But, right? One? Yeah, I guess. But. Training is over. It's Let's time to nice. If the Black Hand stays alive, we might see a Mentor's Ring just to. Yeah. Oh, good gravy. They really have had ideal draw there, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Just keeping the pressure on. Oh. A few drinks. Here we go. Uh, okay, he's gonna do some stuffs. What could be better? I will not be on the wrong oh. side of this ring. And he should. So Mentor's Ring would give it three, seven drain against. Hmm, I'm trying to do the math. I, th I think he'll survive for another turn, and then everything has drain. This could be an epic comeback. I'm just horrible with math. I don't know if Andy's doing the math now, or if he just is just going, I'm, I'm just gonna play what I can play. Wow. Good pull, but is it gonna be enough? That's the question. Well, so right now, Mephisto has eight with the the guys that were nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 19. Um, oh my gosh, oh <laughs> he just keeps goodness. going and going and going. Interesting, okay. Oh, I think it is, that's fine. Wow, oh. holy cow. I'm thrilled we're actually well getting done, to see man. this. Close ranks, let nothing through. Unreal. What a game, I mean, what a game to come into. Yeah, for real, yeah. I mean, now granted, after the majesty of our competition, and this looks a little tame, but... <laughs> uh... <laughs> My goodness, though, I thought he was a goner. Oh yeah, easily. Still be happier if he had some health gain on board. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, in the Great flurry of everything, I didn't even notice that he lost the black hand. Without mentor, without I the mentor. Oh no, 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 not like this. No. Not fell the mighty. Oh no, they can't. They're, they're, they're out of magic. Here. I know. All right, so mentor's ring gives him guards in both lanes. Oh no, wait, can he just can finish he, it? Can he do break through on, on, on everything? He probably could. Um, let's second him enough though. Let's think. Well, no, he's got. Um, okay, he's got eight. Yeah, he's got eighteen plus mentor's ring. Fucking bear. This 
Oh, uh, he can tinker, speed. right? He can tinker the guard. Tinker the guard. Oh, his one magic is short. He's short, isn't I think. Yep. Good idea. Can we get rid of that? That's a pain. Oh, that stinks. We'll so see can, how they like someone. He can mental swing that. and get breakthrough, though, can't he? No, um, he's out of magic. Though. That That's not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Although he can't, can he? He can, he can tinker and yeah. hopefully get lucky. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh! If oh, if he could oh have done God. that, if he had four more, he could have. Oh jeez! Oh my God! Oh, it's not enough. Oh, oh it, maybe it is. Uh, oh golly day, Mephisto! You lucky son Speak, of a gun. Citizen. They are, aren't they? What about? Could he doppelganger? He's zero cost doppelganger. He can just doppelganger the guard. Oh, he can doppelganger um, um, a Mulamir. Oh. Oh no! Hang on a minute. If he had doppelgangered Mulamir, he could have crushed the rest of the board. Other than that, we're at least he could have been looking defensive on the guard. Um, but yours is the better play, definitely, Mulamir. Oh, what a pity. Yeah! Oh, wow, so... A hard-fought victory. Wait, we got a hard-fought victory, but Zenji is at 47 and Ashen Sorcerer is... That was a mistake. What is going on? I'm a little confused. Hey, let's look at that Discord pile. Oh, Discord pile. <laughs> <laughs> like, their Discord pile, hey, yeah. That's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's have had a load of being already. We must protect our strong. Oh, the douche! We, well, hey, you know what? That's worth it. We saw the douche oh, hit the poop oh, stone. Exactly. That's pulled my heart already, that has. Yeah. So, in there, they've got two wild balls. Must take uh, back Skyler. Hail, friend. That was oh. a mistake. Classic ramp. Um, there there is, is murder in it? the air. The shouts thrown in, basically. Reva Observe. That Look was that. a mistake. That faded race doing quite well, isn't it? And it's a good draw if they can keep buffing it. Yeah. Hail, friend. Okay, they're. Oh, they're clearly a torture, that aren't was they? A mistake. Yeah, this is just. Ash and Sorcerer, what are you doing, man? Come on. Dragonborns don't. aren't that chatty. That was a mistake. Just because you have the voice doesn't mean you talk a lot, it means you shout when you have. That was a mistake. Wow, can we. we can't silence, can we? <laughs> No, sadly not. I was just thinking, but why not put Boomer out and then um, put the rally on, and then he's getting some extra help. I beseech the gods. A little distraction might prove useful. All right. Hopefully, I, I'm, I'm decreasing the music because it's it's overriding you a little bit, uh, and I need to be able to hear you. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. And all the yeah, it does sound quite loud. Oh, really? Was a mistake. Wow. They're gonna go on my get list, aren't they? Yeah, the yeah. Most decidedly. Nicely done. Because even even when it's a friendly match, like when you and Ratchet are, are you know mixing it up, you get the taunts here and there, but it's not perpetual. That was a mistake. Apologies. No, I mean we're um, it's there's banter. I mean there's um, basically we banter a lot because the first time I started chatting in Game my of Rats, and we were both. Watching Apologies. a clan mate, and they were up against a taunter. So it's kind of like mocking all the taunters when you do that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an in joke. <laughs> that dragon's not long for this world, is it? Nope, he is. And it's I, it's kind of cool when you get to see an edict actually hit a dragon because it's on the card. So you can. It almost looks like it's hitting Odaving. It's got the same kind of horniness, uh, horns on the head. I mean, wow, this guy's playing oh all the <laughs> ugly stuff. That's really Frank. toxic, isn't it? Oh, for goodness that sake. That was a mistake. Yeah. You are an enemy of the people, Ashen Sorcerer. An enemy of the people. They've got to lose now. I'm hoping so. <laughs> They've got to that they've got was to a lose. Hail, Frank. Zenji has the patience of a saint. I would have muted this turd muffin a long time ago. Same here. Um, that was a mistake. You think Apologies. they're trying to... They're trying to make legend. Um, 
They ought to be shut up, shut up and concentrate, basically, as You'd... far as I can say. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apologies. Damn, the tribunal's lackeys. Really lovely buffing going on here from Zengi. Oh yeah, tons. Look at that, he, and okay, as much as I hate him, I, I like seeing Apologies. him when a friend's playing him, the, the channeler. That's eight health right there. I mean, this is good versus evil. Like, call dragon. It, it definitely is. Titan. We haven't seen Workshop yet, but I'm sure that's that's coming. Oh, look. Of course. Now they got the thing going. Okay, Nicely they're definitely done. going on my git list. <laughs> we must protect our strong. Sorry, folks, I know you're seeing me adjust the settings. I just want to make sure that we... Hail, friend. I think we're fine, but... Is the music still loud? too loud at your end? No, so, that I mean, everything was, was everything was mixed, but now I'm seeing, like, it spike into, like, the higher decibels, and that I just want to make sure that it stays below your voice. Um, I think I think we're good that now. That was a mistake. And it could be just the fact that this guy is, like, because the, the, those emotes are that louder than the music. Sad. So they are actually. Hail, friend. I know a shortcut. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Well, I suppose at least he's not far off lethal the way that he's going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nightmare will soon be over. Oh, His necromancer, how big is that? Six six? What can he bring back to the six cost necromancer? Apologies. Um Balmora Captain would be pretty cool. That was a mistake. Yeah, just having a look. I, th I think that's his best. You bring another necro. Hail oh yeah, yeah. If you wanted to fill up the lanes. Oh, the necro. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If he wants to fill the lanes, he it. What? What? No, he's going to give that to the Chandler. Hail I've friend. seen that trick. Javelin does that a lot. He um, will My massively thanks. buff Chandler. So what happens? Is, oh, for goodness sake. sake. I was, I was about to say, but he's not in that dire health situations, but now he's about to oh, be. No. Oh, but, the, yeah, the problem is, I mean, with Chandler, um, you do that, and then normally people just concede automatically, but unfortunately, unless he gets that removal... That was a mistake. I don't think that he's got was much a mistake. removal left. I'll one one javelin. That was Possibly a, a cast into time. My thanks. Yeah, we know he used... Is he all out of Come on, Jay. edicts? Yeah, he's out of edicts. Wow. He's got um, a javelin and two cartridge tires, potentially. I mean, does he run Wrath? I don't know if he runs Wrath or not. I mean, that would be the ideal. Oh, oh wow. That was a mistake. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> that was a mistake. How toxic do you need to get, really? I mean, that's... Nicely done. I mean, he's, he's pretty much maxed it out, I think. Oh. Yeah. Nicely done. Like there's nowhere else to go. Like nicely yeah. done. Yeah. Which is needs something a draw, really. So it might be Wraith he brings back just to get some draw because he might if he can get um that a was a mistake. Back. And that that's actually what I was thinking. Other than the the, the rally guy, that's who I was thinking he might have pulled back with. Um, oh, is he gonna? Apologies. Oh no. Hail, friend. Oof. I don't know what his late game is, but he's not drawing any of it. No. Oh. Chandler. He needs to put that Chandler a down to buy some victory. time. Let's see. 24. That was a mistake. 32, 36. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead next turn if he doesn't. That yeah, was a mistake. Put the Chandler down, definitely. And it's a 6 6 body, so that's 12 damage. He just needs 10 more. Why are you kidding me? How toxic is this? It's just dreadful. Uh, I mean, the game should be ashamed of itself. Ashton you Sorcerer should be ashamed of himself. Like, there, there's just so much shame to go around. Just spread it all around. Just spear it on the board. Dan Zenji has had enough. Oh. Wow. I well, don't blame him. Well met, Marsh friend. All right. So Tusk greeting Dr. Nightwalker, the Defiant. Rank 12. I can relate. Hey, -o. And a Last Gasp deck. I love Last Gasp deck. They always make me laugh. <laughs> Particularly House Kinsman. I just find that very funny. Ah, oh, Skatars is just accepting me as a friend. Nice. That's yep. So we can watch it. Awesome. Cool. So we'll we'll check him out as well. 
I love um, Last Garp. It's just so funny. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. So, is it like, like, could you like, so, uh, like the 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 humor? What what is it? What 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 it about? Is, what about is it? Is it the, just the idea that you're getting a bonus from I them dying, know. or what's the what's the when you say it's funny? Like, what part makes you chuckle? I'm, I'm mischievous, so um, mm. I, I love it when. I was just waiting for the sound to dial, to dial down a bit before I um, asked. I just love it when you can actually get the combos off. It's, I just think it's a more inventive mechanic in the game, but it's just, I particularly like, well, his, his sort of um, lines. And it's great because you, um, Nicely done. unless they silence him, you can kind of um, get double value from him, can't you? Right. It's been an engaging hunt. I feel a storm coming. But really, in terms of Last Craft stuff, I mean, I played dumb stuff when I played Last Craft, so I played the Firepot Spider. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, yeah, you never see that. Uh, Last Gasp was almost always, like, specifically uh, Assassin. Yeah, it's very funny if you play it with Firepot Spider. If you um, get the spider on the board, and then um, before you're going to kill it, if you give it lethal, so if, if you're running it as, um, what's the Archer, so you can use the Khajiit. Oh yeah! That um, lethal, and then it cleared out the whole lane. It's hilarious, but that's just my mischievous sense of humour. <laughs> it's a dumb thing to do, do really. <laughs> Effective though, if you if you can pull it off. Yeah, I mean it's obviously quite hard to do. It is dumb, dumb but effective. And um, I actually had somebody who didn't realise what the, sp the spider did, and I actually went to kill it, and they I cleared out the whole lane. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Public service, kids. Read the card. If you don't know what it does, read the card. There's no harm in taking a quick second to go, hmm, what does this button do? Oh, it was brilliant. I, and they actually um, emerged afterwards. It was so funny. I was sat there double over with laughter, but oh, it was very good. I just like doing dumb decks, really. Well, hey, uh, Tusk definitely has his work cut out for him here. That 5-6 that is... Currently, on the moment. sorry, seven eight. Don't see it very often, so it's kind of cool. Blades Guardian. Ouch. See, I don't think even Claw Strike's probably not going to do it. Is it? So that be if you think that no, it's not going to do it. So you probably just a sad just agent, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, that would be such a good combo if he could just get the bat out as well. Pity. Hmm. Well, four more Magicka and he'll he'll be there. But yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think Sadrus Agent is probably the best bet at this point. Stop that Pilfer if he can. Uh, although, if his luck is anything like mine, I would expect to see a Javelin come down right afterward. Although it does still leave a guard in that lane, so... Exactly, it's still a guard. And look, he's setting up for the bat next round. Yep, yep. Very, very good heads up play by Tusk. And the bat will be its own generator as well, because that will come down. Um, oh yeah. Twenty six, it's four four, so it's, that will come down. Yeah, these corsair ships are not anything to to ignore. They're actually they can uh, they can really change up the math. I totally forgot about that myself. Mm. It's a really good good card to have on board, and up against a deck that probably doesn't have a lot of this support removal, if any at all. Now, that is a prime Whispering Claw target, definitely. Oh, for sure. That'll just kill it, right? That's... yeah. Yeah, it would kill it, so... Um... By the three, I will spill no blood. And he could put it on the um, Black Hand Messenger then, can't he? Just to keep um, get a bit of health back. Oh, I mean, he's doing it health-wise anyway. Yeah. He? So. Um, yeah, and the giant bat's gonna be uh, the blighted werebat's probably gonna be the big. Yeah. Usha. Bad kitty. Definitely. Uh, see. Um... And is he gonna break it? He is. Yeah. Very good. Um set up there so he's in good range i mean obviously they could have something like that uh assassin's ritual yeah. will help i guess oh there it is oh ah, that dismantle that's but... you see those so much more often these days 
it's popular nowadays because of, um, it can also kill, obviously, Parthenax and uh, Modavine. So mm. a lot of people run it as a, not just for support removal, so they run it for that as well. But the bat's still a good move, I think, because he can um, hit face for another two yeah. if he puts the bat down. I think, in fact, he can put the weird bat out as well. Um, okay, Black. Okay. This is the most active Black Hand Messenger I think I've ever seen in Tessel. It is, isn't it? Battle. No. Look at me. I do more than just die after I really? hit you with my letter. I, I'm not entirely I'm... sure how that works. But... I would personally have waited to put that out in case they got a prophecy, but um, I can see why he's done it. Um, really clever move as well, that he's keeping their creatures free so they can't make the most use of that support. It's pretty much a dead weight there at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yep. Yeah, keeping that board clear. Although, I mean... Dr. Knight has a ton of cards. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't put something down that's going to challenge it. But, I mean, he's dead on board. I mean, that's that's the... Unless he's got a guard. I mean, uh, well, who's the guy? The Hive Defender? Are they... Hmm. Just looking at the Bone of Clarity and Revealing the Unseen, are they trying to unite? Oh! I, don't, I mean, Leafwater Blessing what? is a peculiar ad for that, but... Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not then. But I was just wondering because I've seen so much Unite um, in Dominion. I know Billstorm's popular for it, but I have seen a heck of a lot of Unite in Dominion. Yeah. It got to the point at one stage where I thought that every Dominion deck, I was assuming it's Unite until I could see otherwise. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like for a while, uh, if you saw Guild Sworn, you just would assume it's Invade. Always okay, he does have the guard. Oh. But that's a good kill, though. Oh, no. Damn it. Well, he's got his Burn Clan Night Stalker, so he's... Yeah. Oh! Oh, perfect! And the bat. He's going to be able to do four damage uh, just off of the bats. Yeah, definitely. He needs to... Oh, no, he's not going to. Ah, oh, very... Hang on a minute. Okay, that pushes three, and... Yeah, very efficient. That works. Yeah, and that's lethal. He's, yeah, he's pretty much there, isn't he? Yep, because the bats will finish it off. Well done, Tusk. Yeah, I, 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 that is the most unique win I've seen in a while. Well, it would have been Andy, but Andy didn't want to mess with Mulamir for whatever reason. Running Empire, it's become one of his staples now. Um, he used to be really good with Telvani and also, obviously, Goblins, as we used to call him Gratu Goblin Master. But, <laughs> um, he's become very good with Empire. I think this deck might have been, was it from Play Games or... Might have been. Oh, oh bless him. He's just said to be that he didn't win a single match in the um, Grand Melee with, with this, which is unusual because it's his main climber nowadays. Well, is it because this is this is Animal Empire. Does he usually play Animal or does he usually play more of a, a more conventional build? I think it does still have the um, traditional, what's his name? Um, the, the guy who says, get out of my way, peasant. What's his name? Oh, I'm having a mental blank. Um, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. The one who buffs everybody. Um, Galen? Galen? If no, oh. No, um, oh, he's the guy... Um, if you've got green and yellow on board, he gives everybody a health and hit bonus. I forget the guy's oh. name now. I'm having amnesia. The Oathman? That's it, okay. Oathman, yeah. Oh, yeah, out, out of my way, Worm. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That guy. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, heck, by the time, it, as long as for as long as it took us to figure out who that was, Gratu is closing in on a, on a finish for this game. Good for him. I, he's one of the loveliest people in game. I'm always I'm pleased to see him when he's online. He's not online as much these days as he used to be. I'm thinking of probably put the mammoth out. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. I thought he might trade, but it looks like... Or not trade, but uh, breakthrough on the Wardcrafter, uh, since he hit her with the uh, assassin. To... Yeah, I mean, maybe he's thinking he can just close it out next round, so... Uh, plus, he's got Olivia Thorn there, hasn't he? If, um, yep. if he needs to, he could, like, put... Mind you, he's not going to get full value from her at the moment if he puts her down, but I don't think he's going to need to. This is nice to see... Um, Telvani being taken down so fast. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was uh, worried about an ice storm, but did not materialize. So he's saying that he um, lost to lots of 
uh, monk movement and monk wax wane um, stuff in the event. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I, I know. I know. Joseph said that uh, you know the his assassin wax wane deal is only good in the. I think it's the 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 elsewhere gauntlet. But I got wrecked. I think twice. I, I mean, it's just on if if they have if they on turn six or whatever if they've got two two um whatever you call them the wax wane cards and then he dropped down the general you're just you're yeah. pretty much screwed with, with the moon gate exactly i think it was vincenzo who said about the whole um which was it vincenzo or was it um, i think it was somebody said about how when you have they've got like the wax wane support off i mean really that it's devastating if they get general out when they've got that mm-hmm. but um you have to think do you get rid of that or do you get rid of their draw engine if they've got like the health gain support out or or the forward cab it's really difficult because you've got support removal and if they've got loads of them up there you have to think which one is gonna help you have the best chance about beating them because they're all toxic in their ways aren't they yep. uh, and that and some of these decks they play like um i mean gratitude's on again should we nip on again yeah some of them they play like 12 supports don't they <laughs> um do you go to the gratu or do you want to look at someone else uh, gratu is great uh, he's up against um telvani so another another possible yeah, oh there's the empire oathman i meant i'm joining now oh, Alrighty. i don't want to spoil it for you but you'll see though so hopefully here we'll see gratu the bane of telvani from today well, it's interesting. Like this seems like a completely other side of the deck where, like, I don't see any animals right now. Uh, mm. The hist heals and rejuvenates. Oh my goodness, that needs an edict, definitely. Um, I have a feeling that this was from a deck he got from Play Games. He might have adapted it slightly because I remember it was quite unusual that it had animals in the um, Empire um, mm. colors. That's definitely going to get an edict. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've, I've learned the hard way. You cannot. I mean, I mean, you, you don't think about it, but that one pilfer, is just totally screwed. Uh, you, you have eight magic to work with. Something big's coming down, and you're not going to be able to deal with it. Oh, here we go. We'll see. Uh, That's worst case scenario, pretty much. But at least you can kill it next round before they can get a night talent out. Yeah. Feel the power within. Oh, right. I mean, could he do... So he'll have seven magic in next turn. He can still kill it, though. I mean, we know they're going to bring it back. With them. Right. I was just worried that he'd be able to get down, like, Guardians uh, on, you know, in the next turn, but he'll be a little short for that. I think I'd still kill it to be on the side of, of caution, personally. <laughs> Gratu just said, uh, minutes ago, he just said, I see that rank is not your goal anymore. <laughs> Like, how dare you, sir? <laughs> how dare you? Just because I'm ranked 12 does not mean it's not important to me. <laughs> Friends are important. Friends and family, sir. That's what's more important. Oh, bless him. They cannot defeat I noticed, I'm defeat. noticing, too, like, he's holding on to that edict. Like, he, I mean, mm. both you and I have thought that that distiller should, you know, should eat it. But he's holding on to it, so we're probably going to see, you know, a, a, a much better use for it than... I would have necessarily thought. I live to serve. Oh boy, that's definitely. Yeah, they're definitely out in the in the market for delaying, aren't they? So um, I'm fairly certain this build has. What? I'm just thinking about. Um, I was waiting for the music to the sound to die down a bit, but um, I'm fairly certain. This runs, um, what's that Khajiit who, when he goes to change his lanes? Oh. Dark Mane, is it Dark the, uh, no, no, not Dark Mane, that's a card. Monastic. I'm dreadful today. He's a, he's a monk. The or... one that moves, yeah, he moves lanes and he goes from like a two Feel hit to five hit. Yep. I'm having a Mamnesia <laughs> day today, I can't remember the name of the card. <laughs> I, I never see the name, I just see the, the ridiculous little ponytail and I say, you're not for me, sir. You're not for me. I, it's not it's not apex predators there we are dark mate i did get it right um but basically the idea is you put him down and then you get old salties out so but of course there's not enough there for him to actually um Imperial business. look at the buff instead but Woo. magnificent that effect every time i love it yep it's devastating too 
It's it. Come on, come on. That peasant, yeah. He didn't say anything. I love him. He's just get out of my sight, peasant. <laughs> now, all he has to do is old salt. Oh, he can't be old salties, but if he just had that crab. I know it's always a fun way to kill someone for crab. Isn't it? <laughs> I find it interesting because if you notice, Rai, uh, Rai Guy was playing a ton of prophecies. Uh, he had the 2-2 the two -two Gabo that does one damage. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that sulking. Beware. You swim in trouble. Yeah. So, he's not very impressed with that, obviously. <laughs> I mean, at least he did well done, it after his turn, I guess, but jeez. It's <sighs> so petty when that happens. I wish people wouldn't do that. It spoils it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like somebody just like if you're sitting at a table and they just kind of flip the table over and cross their hands over their chest and go, I don't want to play anymore. You stupid. It's like, come on, guys. All right. So I see Tusk and Zenji battling it out. Okay. So we're like, what are they playing against each other? No, no. Sorry. I just meant just battle. battling in general. Okay. Should we try Zenji again and see if we can get um, a match where he has a bit better luck? Yeah. Let's go in then. I'll, I'll go in now. Oh crap, which one is it? <laughs> I just... Uh, Zenji. Zenji, okay, yeah, yeah. Jump in. This looks like Doom Crag... Doom Crag Dragons, I think. I mean, oh. they're going to get rid of that dragon for certain, aren't they? Yep. Bounce. Oh. All right. Well, well done, Zenji. This is uh, definitely going to be a different result than the last one we saw. Pepperhound is not... Uh... Yeah. Oh, no. Look at that. Please don't have gargoyle. Please don't have gargoyle. I mean... Or squish. Or squish. Yeah. Well, interesting. I was going to say, or drain life, because that will keep him alive, I think. 13, 17. Yeah. That's, no, no, it's not enough. That's annoying. Not enough. Annoying, but I think he should be okay. Yeah. He's got Crusaders there for the extra damage as well, hasn't he? Yep. Oh, he's got it easy. Doesn't he have to break the rune? There we are. Little we'll style. That was nice and Finesse, yeah. yeah. All right, well. Th this is always my quandary when I, when I get on like, the hardest part of... of doing like of spectating is just trying to catch people at a good time in the game yeah i mean it's difficult isn't it you don't want to but sometimes you see some phenomenal turnaround in late games i think it's always worth having a look isn't it um who else have we got at the moment so tusk is still fighting should we go in there next yeah heading in now I keep getting uh, comments, uh, you know, so I, I don't open them when I'm playing, but it's like now I've got, oh boy, this is tough. <laughs> my goodness. Oof. That is going to, ha oh my goodness. This uh, I think we just, yeah. Yeah, you can, there's not much you can do there, is that? I mean, that big Khajiit. Wow. Uh, I mean... Oh, stiff. Yeah, should we leave this one? <laughs> He's going to pull it out. Um, I'm just going to... Got a couple of messaging me, so let me just have a nose. Okay. Yeah, I think Burn Clan with Assassin's Ritual could actually turn it around. Yeah, that might help. Um, it, thing is, it's not By a good aid, choice, is it? A fine battle. Oh. Okay. So, efficiency. Yeah. Probably won't put that one in there just because... It was just so quick. Yeah, I thought that, with Bert. That, that was nasty. Yeah. I'm just going to re respond to Chris. But maybe he, I'll see if he's going to play anything. I can see what Grantu said. I'll just quickly message him now. Um, then see if, if he. Because he might be going to do an event. I mean, would you be up for watching any event matches if there are any? Oh, absolutely. 100%. I, I try. I actually try to try, like the only ones I don't uh, prioritize over ladder are like casual, uh, just because like the stakes aren't really there. Friendlies I, I'll do um, if I can get in at, at a good time. Um, I don't usually do solo arena just because people don't seem to love the AI. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely event stuff and actual arena like versus arena. Those are huge. Oh, uh, I've got a guy named Zosi.by. 
He's doing versus arena. I don't suppose you have him, do you? Um, let's have a look. It's a, it's an X. It's X O S E dot B Y. No, I don't have them, unfortunately. Okay. Um, did you want to watch them um, as a solo while I see if I can set up a match for see if um, Chris is going to do an event? I know he's done some events, so I could see if. Um, did you want to just watch that one as a one-off while I um, try and set something up from, for, or not? Sure. Or do you want to stick with? Oh, we also do have Maik. Okay. Uh, Maik is playing right now, um, but yeah, we could do Maik then. Um, oh, Chris is not playing until this evening. I think he's probably just on a brief break with his family. Um, We've got NRO Entertainment playing, but I don't really chat to them. I haven't chatted them for ages, so I don't really want to just go in and record that. So I think we watch my week then. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and give that a shot, see where he's at. Yeah. Okay, hey, it's right at the beginning. Fantastic. There's a play. There's a play. All right. I, and I've been told like by my, 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 my Eek himself. It is it is my Eek. Yeah. M A H dash. My Eek. A Eek. 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 So Maik. And Capper apparently is a slang term for liar. I had no idea, but apparently that is that is a thing. I'd never heard of that before, but it's interesting. Yeah. I've not I've not heard that either. Um looks like standard tokens, doesn't it? But maybe a prophecy twist from the look of things. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, lurking crocodile. You won't escape alive. And uh, it looks like Imperial Guest has the same idea. Although that may be well. I don't know. It, it it's always hard when I see that many prophecies, like two out of two cards. I automatically think it's just a heavy prophecy list. But we, he could have just been very lucky, and you know, twenty percent of the deck is prophecy or something. Either way, it does put Maik in a bit of a bind. End of the road. Trying to get. They're going to take out one of the rumors, aren't they? Definitely, because they want to get the health gain off the board. Yeah. Although, I mean, Maik being the, the aggressive, you know, with this being an aggressive deck, I mean, a lot of times getting that, those rune breaks are going to be the only way you get a card draw. So uh, I don't know if it's... I think Bruma might be more more there just because of his 3-2 and for races against other aggro. But I don't know. Yeah. It looks like Imperial Guest is running a... Wow. Is that a Prophecy 2? Um, no. I didn't think it was. No, no it's not. But... Very nicely done on their part, though. Um, so if they're running, what's it? They've got Hackwing Feather, and they've run Healing Hands. They've probably got, um, is it Pleta Kyanath, the one which buffs the whole lane? Yep. That's probably what they're yep. up to. Um, I used to run that a lot, actually. It was it was good fun. <laughs> Always a cool effect. Oh. So he's going to bait out the dragon. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he has to get that off board. It has to be sacrificed in order to... Um, Get rid of that. He can't leave that lying there. Uh, yeah, I was hoping. He, uh, we'll just hoping he didn't have the uh, the the two two armor that gives extra three and draws a card. That would have been a bit of a problem. You must be cleansed. Uh, that's also a problem. Now it's not big enough oh, to take on the spider. Yeah. Mm. That's very unfortunate. I think I'd personally play, play for time now with the um, so play for time now with the guard. I get the fabricant out on the in the left hand lane, the sort of the field lane, but they're not great choices, are they? No. That's Did you hear that? I mean it's good it's great to see the fabricant. Like I I and I, I wonder if uh Maik is actually playing this spell sword build specifically to be able to get the value on that um on that fabricant. Because you just don't see him much, but my goodness gracious. Cannot Every answer, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Every answer. Mother Although he mother. does lose the spider this turn, so mission accomplished, I guess. They'll bring it back up there. My powers oh, jeez. Big boy. Ouch. Yep. And unfortunately, he's going to hit, and it's not going to break a rune, so uh, Maik doesn't even get the card draw off of it. No. But <laughs> the mighty <laughs> makeshift defenses <laughs> for card draw. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Tackle Fabricant. Oh, that's cool. Wait, did you hear that? I'm a little bit intrigued as to why he um, isn't concerned about that Die. bloody great vampire. Uh, Is he a vampire? Uh, yeah, I, I think I think maybe he just he doesn't have. I mean, oh, there we go. Well, 
he, yeah, he just, he, he, nothing would contest with it. All, he could, if he traded everything in that lane in, well, no, okay, if he traded everything in right now, he could win, but, or he could uh, kill it. So I think we'll definitely see the assembled conduit going to challenge the vampire. I will well, keep Sotha Sil's people alive. Because he needs lethal really to take that out, doesn't he? Um, uh, which, what can conduit get? Oh, it's not a guard. And unfortunately, that little guard is. So he's got to play. Not going to do much. But he's kind of in a delaying game now, isn't he? I mean, it's going to be a hard climb back. Yeah. He's still in the mix. They didn't nice card. Oh boy. All right. Well, field lane goes down to to his mighty makeshift defenses. But that. Uh, yeah, he needs to. Um, he's got to do Titan just for the health gain, isn't he? But it's not really going to get him very far. Yeah. Well, luckily, Titan. And maybe the guard. Oh man, Titan won't even be able to. I thought it would be bigger than that. He might have to buff it up just so no. that it can take take on the six five. He's got to guard up before. No, he's. Speak, citizen. Oreo girl. He's got to guard up. Yeah, come on, guard. You need a guard there, basically, just to delay. Yeah, we know he's going to take ten more than likely. Oh no, okay. Well. Make sure defense is doing work. Yeah. I'm kind of. Have you ever seen anyone? I'm just thinking, on a tangent here. Have you ever seen anyone play the old art um, Golden Saint? Because there is one. Not gold. Is it golden? Yeah, Golden Saint. There's an old art, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, uh, I've seen it once because I was like, "Ooh, that looks really cool." Like she's got really dark hair. I think like she's a. Mm -hmm. Your pain. A little spicy. Oh, hey, there's your guy. Oh, my darling, vicious truff. I think that's the way he talks right, too. That lane must die. <laughs> <laughs> that lane has got to die. All right, so. So, so welcome, health gain. So I think he needs to Titan and Barrow Stalker. Oh, that's rough. If he kills, he's got to kill the haunting spirit, but that makes for a very big. Shadow Fen. Okay, oh, great play. Good, good, good heads living. up play there. She stays alive. Yeah, I was just I was gonna say, um, I think he needs to stop it so down back. Stops it dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he can get, I don't know if he's what silence he possibly have here. He might have, um, I suppose he's gonna have a fair you amount of like, like, mute and stuff. I uh, just hope no Taz Cad. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, that's a backbreaker. Can you imagine? I mean, they're, they're probably going to just kill oh. their spirit in the old. Oh, what a top deck! Well done. Come on. Oof. That was a close call. Nail biting stuff, isn't uh, it? Yeah, man? yeah. Come on, you need some help, then. Justin Larson and uh, Charmer had a had a, a unique. Um, tendency to have those kind of things like they'd say well there's a problem we don't really have an answer for it and the very next turn silence or removal and it's like well there we go I'm like no there you go that never happens to me true and um one of my favorite justin larson ones was the um one where he gives somebody with Modica merchant a bloody great iron axe and he tore you the whole game yeah, the great whale i think is what he called it the, the white whale yeah that's right the great whale <laughs> had to get rid of it now, Maik just took a big is. risk there, uh, not putting a guard in that lane. Because if he's got... I see why. Dawnbreaker or... I mean, Dawnbreaker alone wouldn't do it, but... Okay, so he must have something... Well, he can draw with the fork, can't he? As well as get... But he does need that life gain, really. Uh, oh, I, no. You knew he had an answer for it. it uh... They had to, didn't they, really? Yep. Oh no! All right, well, he's still—he's not dead on board, but yeah, it's a, a real shame. I mean, he could do with um, something to get the whole health gain thing going, really. Did he? Did he? Did he get health gain from the Titan? I can't. I didn't. No, he didn't. No. He went for. I think he went for regenerate on it. Mm. Okay, so I was, that's why I didn't. I thought uh, he might have played the reflective automaton. There's the reach. Just too big for 
the vicious D. Even if you give him a fork. For the Emperor! So we need another edict, really. How many has he had so far? Let's have a look. Or Jav. Hulking. If he if he survives this turn. Um, there's no cards in hand, so at least that's something. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to top deck two damage. Which the way the game's been going, I kinda think he'll have it. Yeah. They've probably got a gavel, haven't they? Let's yeah, that. that's what I was saying, yeah. Okay, no, he doesn't have it. No quarter. Okay, so they're playing defensively. He should get a good draw off of that though. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't he? I mean, that's lethal still, isn't it? So he needs to kill the deal or some Oh no. Wow, he was one off. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Woo. Speak. It's a really good draw here. That might make them quit, actually. If, um... No, okay. So he's going to need to kill that guard with probably the Automaton. Mm -hmm. um, fork on the um, Fabricant. Is it a Fabricant? Yeah. Yeah. And then just kill with the other one and maybe put some a plate on her so that, she, that um, she's got decent health and hope they don't have a finish off. Yeah. Yeah, definitely can ha happily because the hive defender is. Oh, stick a fork in him. He's done. Oh, there. Okay. All right. I gotta say, Maik, uh, the draw is now favoring him heavily at this point, which is good to see. Uh, he can do. He can. He's gonna be able to heal for a ton. Wow. I mean, that is incredible. Yeah. There it is. I mean, you know, I'm not a fan of Titan, but it's okay here because he's not using workshop with it. Right. Um, yeah. More health gain. You'd think the nerves of steel to hang on like that. He was so vulnerable. Yeah. A fine Anything with charge. It has oh, been gracious. an engaging yep. hunt. Imperial gate, I mean, which is which is impressive because Imperial guest was definitely had the advantage for a good chunk of this, and then. Yeah. Uh, but Maik, way to pull it off. Fantastic. Fantastic game. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. Who else is? Well, that was an incredible turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was. Let's see who else we've got. Mm. The J Shays is on, but not playing at the moment. So, um, who else have we got? Raxon's playing in a versus. Oh, let's go in there then. Yes, I like the sound of that. Should be funny. Uh, yeah, more or less at the beginning, another, another Telvani. We're, we're seeing a lot of Telvani, we're also seeing a lot of Telvani lose, so let's hope that trend continues. Yeah. Already has that amulet down, a happy though. Trend. Yeah, a very happy trend seeing Telvani lose. It's, uh, I call it Tejas Telvani Must I do everything mm. myself. Here we go. Oh no, they're not going to do a... Cool fire bloom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, oh, they're probably disappointed by that, aren't they? I doubt it's a Khajiit. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, you know they'll do it again. Telvani is never... Well, you know... Hmm. That amulet. They're just delaying... They're just delaying to get their eyelids, aren't they, really? But, um, Ruxin will have Mr. Uh, you can guarantee it. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Uh, so let's see. He'll be coming up on Tazcat Swift Strike for 20... So, yeah, uh... He could do that now, can't he? He can do Swift Strike with the astronaut. Oh yeah! Duh! Good call. Good call. It has been an engaging hunt. Bye, Telvani! Bye-bye. Well done. Well, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, we're quite lucky to catch him playing, actually. He often plays in the early hours, um, so um, we're quite lucky to see him playing there. I don't think you've often managed to catch him on film, have you? Uh, yeah, no, he, the, I, rare, the only time I think I've ever seen him on, it's he's in a friendly with you. <laughs> That's... Yeah, exactly. Well, um, he's one of the strongest players in game, basically. I mean, um, I've not seen him face off against K-Fluffy recently, but um, every time he plays against K-Fluffy, K-Fluffy loses generally. <laughs> and they're both lovely people. So, but um, I'd, I'd like to see the two of them play a friendly sometime. See, because obviously K-Fluffy was already good when they, they used to play a lot, but um, as it virtually... Um, He's massively improved. I mean, he's always been strong, but massively improved. So it'd be quite an interesting contest to see those two if they ever faced off on ladder. 
Who do you want to go for next then? Ah, uh, let's see. I just saw. Okay, so Aros is is still in versus. Um, Tusk isn't a friendly, but I'm not sure. I cannot believe K Fluffy is wasting a time in solo. Doggone it! If you're gonna be here, K Fluffy, you gotta you gotta be mixing it up. Oh well. I could message him. I could message him and see if he um, fancies a game or something. I mean, Banana's in, but he said he's um, ah. So yes, just need to apply to Rux in just a sec. Maybe I could sweet talk him into doing another game so you get another one. Should I try and do that? I'll try and get Rox into another one. Uh, sure. Well, I mean, we do. Uh, it looks like Aros just started a new one. So if we would, because we've got. Okay, we could go into Andy then. Let's do another Andy. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can. I'll hop in now. Alrighty, fresh game with Aros. I don't remember what rank he was when last we saw him. Seems like forever ago, but... Yeah, it does seem like it was, I mean... Yeah, I can't remember either. We did watch him, I think, at the start, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, it was that epic game where he was he went off on turn 9 or something with the... Uh, oh, the Mullum near one. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, he's, he's mixing it up, though. Then we're, Now we're seeing his Dagoth. I think this is just mid-range aggro Dega. Is it though? He's got an addiction to um, Nixox. Is it Nixox Dega? Oh, interesting. Remember the video? Is it? That's what I'm wondering. It could be. I, or Clan Captain. I mean, that, that's more of a, a quick, a quick stray. I, I think. I, I mean, I, but I do know. But you're right. He does have a. He does have a Nixox Dega. He told me about. It. I haven't Care seen it though. But way. this looks like a lot of aggression. Yeah, it probably is. It'd just be fun if it was the Nixox then they got, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm just deliciously speculating. <laughs> I mean, I've got no evidence at all for it, but it's just fun to speculate. Here we go. Typical Crusader's jobby. Yep, oh, yep. Yeah. Gonna make it hard. I guarantee, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be a chanter coming down at some point that's going to throw a Ross a curve. Just as he's about to finish him off. Oh, we got the, he's got the douche. He's got the belly G. Well, there won't be... Good. Yeah, there won't be uh, any surviving supports. Well, he could just put out the Crown Quartermaster and um, take that out, couldn't he? Or he could do a kill with a Discerning Thief, either or. Yeah. I actually quite like the Thief for um, bait, because he put it out. Are quicker than your this might be handy. The number of times, because you know I don't like shedding cards. I know she's a useful mechanism, but I, I like to use her to kill things. Yeah. And people always like targeting it with removal. I think that's okay. I, just, I don't really plan on hitting face. I plan on killing your creatures. Yep. So it normally works in my favor. Yep. She that. she is great for that. She is always a primo target, and like that's like you right. said, I'm perfectly mm -hmm. fine trading her in. I I'm not necessarily trying to get face with it. I reckon this is clearly a conscription job, isn't it? I mean, they've got her there. They've probably got all the usual mechanics for buffing. They'll have protect a Praetorian commander, won't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, get rid of the dagger, of course. Nice to have the hand in... Well, the hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. Put your hands together! Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and some nice reach there with the lightning bolt, if he can... I'm sure he'll hold on to that as best he can. Well, I mean, between the lightning bolt and the cliff, raker, cl uh, cliff racers, he's got be, gonna be able to do 12 in the next, like, he can pretty much do four damage every turn, guaranteed. Uh, he just has to be able to get, knock uh, 14 damage off the board and he'll be all right. I'll clear the path. But already the next- I mean, that's a decent move. What's that? Yeah, that's a decent move for Andy, isn't it? I mean, that's they've not really been able to buff her. Their ideal would be to buff her. They've had to do that as a defensive move, so that's not really a concern for Andy at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Greetings. Well, obviously, they they want to be getting their Praetorian commander out before they do that, don't they? Really? They, that was a desperate move on their part. Yep. Um. It was smart. I mean, it it was like it was the. That's all it takes. Like one turn like that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not the douche. Could be a Jav. Yeah. It's a Jav. Okay. See, she's great for removal, isn't she? She's great to bait out removal. Um, you just want to get your opponent distracted. Uh, yeah. So that they can't make get them off their game plan. She's just great for that. But um, little kitty. 
Yeah, you saw they'd rather take uh, three damage to the face, I'll you know, in, in the short term than mm -hmm. uh, than have her stay on the board. So. This is looking like a nice, juicy, comfortable win for Andy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our glory will live on okay. forever. That's a bit slow for them to be running that. Um, they're not going to get time, are they? No. Could have had a could have had a slow draw. Yeah, he's going to keep going face. So um, yeah, they probably just had a bad draw. So I can kind of feel for them a bit. Yeah, so the mama for go. I expect. Oh no, he's going for that. Ah, uh, maybe just in case, chanter possible. Well, yeah, possible. Yeah. But he's got a he's lot of cards. Some, oh. some of these decks do run dark seducer as well. Oh yes, I forgot about her. Yeah. Yeah, she's. So he's not far off. He's basically he's got another. I'll clear a path. I hold my power. So he can hit face. Um, probably. I slay the unworthy. Uh, he's actually. And that's not gonna bother him. Oh, cliff racer! Not yeah, cliff racer. He's one off. Yeah, one off of lethal. I mean, he can cliff racer. Um, maybe Ash Presser the. Because he can next, if he can just dash a presser, that um, health gain, then he can. Have you come to submit? Okay, he's not going to go down that route. Really. I'm thinking because that way he can do the lightning bolt as a finale, can't he? Yep. He just has to stop gaining health. Depends if they've got a channeler or not. Doesn't it? Well, and next turn he can do cliff racer and lightning bolt, even if his entire lane gets cleared out. Yeah, he's all right. exactly. He should be. It should be a safe win for him, really. Do they have the Dawn's Wrath? Ah, uh, yeah, that would be. It don't doesn't look like it. But you never know. I mean, they must be feeling ner they must be feeling nervous because it's so common for people to have two lightning bolts in hand, isn't it? Yep. Even in a three-color deck, three attribute deck, it's not uncommon. Yeah, it happens quite often. Um, I only need. Must have a guard. No, I. But they must come, they're going to succeed, aren't they? And that's just playing out their hand, yep. Oh, wow. I mean, that Asher Presser, it's nice to see that being played, actually, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You don't often see it on that, though. Well, because it's ugly as sin. It's got an elephant trunk sticking out of his eyeballs. That's just weird. This episode sponsored by Lilith Chan, a dark elf brought to you from the brilliant mind of Vincenzo. You've seen some of his cards before. Here is another one. Eight cost in assassin colors. It is a 5-2 with drain and ward, and Lilith Chan is immune to silence. Now, I don't know if there's some double entendre here, if there's something else uh, going on behind the scenes, a, a inside joke perhaps, but I, I can tell you that when I looked up Elder Scrolls, Lilith Chan, she did not pop up. So even though I know Vincenzo is very big on the lore, it would seem that Lilith, Lilith Chan is not in fact a Elder Scrolls character. I may be wrong in that, but Google search has not revealed that. Uh, other search results come up for Lilith Chan, but not this particular character or anything that looks like her. In fact, it's much, much different. I don't know that I recommend looking up Lilith Chan. You may be familiar. I may be just out of touch. In any case, in this universe, Lilith Chan is a dark elf that is immune to silence with Drain and Ward. I get it. You know, it looks like she's an internet personality. Maybe, you know, immune to silence is, is a joke. Like, hey, you can't silence her. I don't know. Or maybe she, she talks and, or she, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But in in-universe, it's very interesting. We don't, right now, uh, we don't have too many immune to silence Creatures, Mo like we've got the three four in intelligence that prevents other creatures from being silenced, and obviously you've got um, well the Evanheart cloak or Evan Thread cloak is immune to actions for for a turn. Not too many immune to silence, other than the gates. Those obnoxious invasion gates are immune to silence. Uh, but aside from that, really no other that I can think of off the top of my head. Can't think of any other card that is immune to that, and it's pretty imperative because she is a five two, which means sorcerer's negation. Obviously, does her in. Uh, that, that's pretty much the worst, the worst that could possibly happen. But in this case, I guess it would just remove the ward, maybe, or would it do nothing at all? I don't know, because uh, obviously, yeah, it couldn't remove the ward because ward it would be silencing it. So you can't even do that. So I guess a sorcerer's negation would be negated. You wouldn't be able to use it at all. It wouldn't do anything. Uh, so I do, but I so I think it's interesting. And, and at a cost five two, again, it might be a little overstated, but at the same time, I mean, even hand to Agoth can be silenced. Um, I think the the, the two. The two power kind of offsets that a little bit. It's like, okay, you can't silence it, but if you can ping it and remove the ward, it's not going to take much to, to take it down. 
uh, you know, Firebolt, a uh, Orclan Captain, and a uh, Nord Firebrand. I mean, there's, there's a million ways to do two damage to something. So, obviously, she's probably going to get played in the Shadow Lane, more likely than not. Uh, she can be... Hard removal is still a thing. But it's interesting, because a, a lot of effects are mitigated by silence. It's like, well, it's a powerful effect, but if you silence it first, then you can kill it. In this case, I mean, yeah, she, she's going to... It's going to be harder removed. I mean, there are other ways besides that. You can ping it, lethal pings, all this kind of stuff, other other ways to get to it. But it, she would be very hard to remove. That said, I think as a 5-2, because she is really not going to stand up, once once she is out in the open, once she can be interacted on the board, she's really not going to survive all that much. Or all that long, I don't think, as it is now. So maybe we could... I, and I think I think making her kind of a, uh, a glass cannon is pretty cool, a 5-2. Um, I just think 8 might be a little expensive. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe down to a 7 or a 6. Uh, maybe not a six. Maybe, maybe a seven. Maybe a seven would be a sweet spot. Uh, but I do like. I like the art. It's it's a cool it's a cool look. I mean, it's kind of Daedra esque. I would say the the armor is from what I've seen. It, it looks like something out of Oblivion, um, with a katana or oh katana or you know kind of a modern sword. But anyway, uh, it, it's it's good looking art. It's a good choice. Uh, she does look uh, rather fierce and fearsome. Um, and yeah, I, I like the idea. I mean, cards that have immunity signs. I like. I think the more cards we have that have these little nicks and caveats, like can't be silenced, you know, cannot be removed, can't be shackled, things like that. I think it, I think it mixes things up. It means that you, you can't just play a suite of, you know, silence and this uh, in removal and be guaranteed to win. Like, you actually have to play other things. That's why I think the cards that make um, Invade play around certain things, play around supports. They have to play support removal and things like that. I think I think it's it's good. The more, the more it forces diversity in deck, the more it forces uh, more creative ways to put a deck together to play around certain things. And obviously this is one of them. I think as a unique legendary, this is great. You don't have to worry about fighting against three of these. But it does, <coughs> for those who are trying to, you know, desperately trying to cling to life, this is a card that you don't necessarily have to worry too much about it getting removed if, if... I mean, she can be shackled, so it's not... I mean, there are there are ways around her, but I do think it's great, and as I said many times before, I do like unique cards. Lilith Chan, Vincenzo, I don't know who this Lilith Chan is based off of or exactly what's going on here, but I'm pretty darn sure she is not in the Elder Scrolls lore. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I think it's okay. But, yeah, so a cool card, again, might be a little overcosted by one, I would say, or maybe... Because I mean, she dies to a firebolt. Maybe make her a five-three at eight cost. I think that might that might be a little more fair. Still going to get removed, crushing blow, lightning bolts, and those sorts of things after the ward is removed. But um, remember, there's that five-one. There's a five-one with ward. I think she's a five cost. Um, doesn't have drain and is not immune to silence, so that's very true. But it is a five-one with ward, and uh, she's not played mostly because uh, she gets removed pretty pretty darn easily. There's not a lot of value there. The the immune, immunity to silence does give her a little more staying power, but. Might still be a little expensive. Anyway, I'm done flapping my gums. Thank you so much, Vincenzo, for uh, putting this card out there for us to to look at and admire and ponder. Thank you for taking a gander, and now back to the games. Good to have a, a new um, face on the channel, isn't it? Yes, uh, welcome, Wind Friends. And uh, he came highly recommended by you, despite the fact that he is a Telvanni. Uh, you said he prefers running Telvanni. We do see, I would call it classic Telvanni with the Altar Despair and things of that nature. Yeah, and I think we're going to see a Viper out very soon. Oh, uh, no doubt. Probably on that, um, what's it? Planeta. And probably Black Hand, I think, next round. Yeah. Yeah, he, he I think he's able to, he's slowing Fire, Fire Flyer. <laughs> fire Flyer down just enough. I mean, it's going to be close. He keeps putting threats on the board, but I think... Well, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming that's going to have a fire bloom, uh, isn't it? So um... there it is. Yep. Wow! Look at that. Black hands. Put your hands together for the black hands. Oh, best, best outcome there, and a concession from Fireflyer. That was enough. It looks like he's more than likely up against another aggro deck this time in Battle Mage. Yeah. I'm interested to see what this is going to be. Ouch, you don't want a conception that early. Oh, I actually probably throw all oh. those away, I would imagine. He might keep the schema for the draw. Oh, no. Odeving. <laughs> Naughty Odeving. I was going to say, that's that's brave luck right there. Oh, oh boo. Oh, uh, oh, so, but before I finish my sentence, I was going to say, I wonder if it's going to be a classic BM or Invade. And unfortunately, it's Invade. Well, this makes it so much probably easier. One of the easier invades to beat. Ah, oh, wow. 
Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping. I, I actually heard uh, on the Discord folks were talking about it. They're like, I don't know why people are so bent out of shape about, uh, uh, you know, um, invade. I, you know, I beat them all the time. And I'm like, well, you live a charmed life because I've watched high end players lose to invade on the regular, unfortunately. Yeah, I've, I've found that as well, really. I mean, um, it's just an infuriating bit power up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm expecting that Wind will come out top here, so because he um, tends to be, well, obviously, anyway, Telvani is a tool to do in play. I, I think Telvani is just a good matchup, just because it is it is slower. You you can afford to wait, not hit face, and build up your board. He's got a lot of a lot of great yeah, removal. Yeah, exactly. He's got got lots of removal there, and um, the reanimate as well. So you think? I mean, Oh, that git. Oh, I hate him. He is always there. He is one of those ones that's always there on... Wait, no, no, not that guy. I'm thinking of the 3-5 that gives the gate a ward. He always seems to be very prevalent. Watch yourself now. Yeah. I mean, really, it'd be nice if he could fire bloom, but it's because the danger of it hitting that, it's just his luck to get that bloom and mage. Yeah. Oh. Oh, good negation. Perfect. Um, I mean, now we can fire bloom. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Bye, gate. Bye, bye. And now, really, what sort of um, draw they're going to have? They're probably just going to have rapid shot, aren't they? If anything to draw. Um, Ooh, that needs an answer right now. Okay, that'll work. Sure, I've got one as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Telvani. I do feel the game. <laughs> yeah, the game famous Telvani. It's like um, as soon as. They're in a difficult situation. Oh, look an answer. Oh, look an answer. Yeah. Look an answer. You know, and we're now into reanimate mate land, aren't we? So I think wind's gonna be just um... Ooh. Uh, you don't get you don't oh, see that I... card play very often. I like Dread Clamifer. I used to play him a lot when I was new. I think we're gonna see this page come back, yep. I mean he's not he's not a bad card. I mean he would have been great in that instance if he came down on this turn, but if there's another one, that's danger. That's the guy. I hate him with the passion of a thousand suns. That's the gear. Yeah. Total gear, but we're now in overplay territory, aren't we? Yeah, we're yet. Yep, yep. Ooh. Look at that. Path likes him. I mean. Yep. Lead me into battle. Look at those soul tears. I mean, I never get soul tear off Path. I call Path a git because he never gives me that. He always gives me that red one. That means you can't. Yep, Winter's just saying this guy is dead. But, yeah. And I'm just saying, ha ha ha. <laughs> you are right, Win. Win, you are right. Spirit of oblivion. Oh well, that's oh, a little that's fresh. A <sighs> Nicely done. Unfortunately for him. Odaving is in the wings, and he is coming Boy, down. I'm fairly certain next year. Yeah, they're going to be a, a bit disappointed, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to be able to get an Odaving, but yeah, I think it's, it needs to be Odaving. Yeah. There go. Let's see if we get a concede. Yeah, that's that. That I would have. Well, I mean, I'd never play Invade, but if I was, I, I would have. Oh, look at that! That's going to get him. Um, that's going to get negation for sure, isn't it? Yeah, I do believe so. They can bite size. And then he can have Manamarco. Oh, he's just going to bring back. He's going to part. Manamarco. He could Manamarco, couldn't he? Next round. I mean, he could probably do it this round, actually. I'm just wondering what he wants from... <laughs> what do you want from an invade player, really? Manamarco. Well, no, he's going to path, isn't he? I mean... No, but you could... Uh, Mankar, couldn't you? What's his name? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mar Mar Marquinez. Mar Marquinez. I don't know. Well, I can never remember what he's called. Yeah, Jamora. You could Jamora a double... Oh, yeah, but almost an OTK, essentially. Still got the option there, hasn't he? I mean, um, you can still use Manny. That'd be a quite a cool way to close out, actually. Mm-hmm. I would... If, if there's no guard, I suspect he's going to just do that, isn't he, next round? Yeah, I mean, he may just do Parth, Parth Odaving, but he could do a little stylish with Manny. Yeah, if he wants to be stylish. Um, I mean... I've less problem with people being stylish against Invade. I do get it as well. I mean, some people, they're doing a, that summon 10 cost cards quest, and that's a real pain Let's trying to get. People just quit, don't they? Or you can get your 10 cost cards out. So I do understand why sometimes people do it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That is a hard one. Although I have found, uh, this is a tip for anybody, if you 
Like I beat um, all the all the story modes just in general, but uh, now that I've gone back to master, I've left one uh, like one path open, and I so I, I don't beat it. I use that as my uh, to get my my stuff. Um, so I'm essentially playing against a computer on a very easy level, and it allows me to just kind of get away with stuff. Boom! Exactly the Lon Parthenax. Wow. Very stylish end. Mm-hmm. It's because Antipus, that name is the bell. Uh... Hmm. Care to make a friendly wager? I don't know that I've seen that when I When you said it, I, I, I can think of a few names. Number five. But... Um... Is that the one that Andy was playing against earlier? It's, oh, there, it wasn't Andy playing against a big off was my memory at fault. Perhaps. I'll lead my family to glory. Okay, uh, it's uh, Wind apparently knows whoever it is because he said this is going to be a tough matchup. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's just because oh, it's Dagoth yeah. or because he knows who Kazantipus is. Name rings a bell. I can't think where from, so it might be my memories at fault. <laughs> Top 100 player as well, so. Um... The void awaits you. Yep. I stand Card backs ready. don't lie. Always difficult when you've got um, lethal on board, isn't it? Oh, that's a good snake there, isn't there? Mm hmm. Sorry, I can't resist. I had to do that. Well, that's not a very good impersonation of it, but I feel Oh, did you hiss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I heard it that time. Oh, no! Ooh. <laughs> that's going to be bumper five for sure, isn't it? But then it needs to still defense mode at the moment. <sighs> Which, to be fair, um, when you're Telvani, you have to have those iron nerves, don't you? Because you are quite often on the back foot to late game. Yeah, yeah. He said he was like, um, he said it is a, a bit of a greedy deck. I said, hey, somebody has to play the high end cards. You know, uh, Odaving and Tullius do not make it into many people's decks. Cool, I mean, that is a typical um, brave hand, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. I used, I used to run um, an aggro Tullius, but I was new. One I might do an aggro Tilvani again for fun. It's always great because nobody expects Tilvani to be aggro. It, it, uh, you can usually catch it by yeah. surprise. And I remember I beat one of the ACC taunters. Now, which there's the two that tend to taunt us. They're fatal and that and radical other two who taunt. I think I beat um, Fatal with it, actually. So it's quite funny. I think they're expecting a standard Tilvani and um, they got my aggro Atronach Tilvani instead. So it was very uh, low um, curve, but also mm. With action axe for the later part of the, of the game. Oh, sorry it had to come to this. All right, that's a bit of a help. But yeah, that's useful. Wind is. Oh my gosh, wind is definitely. Oh just, no wonder it's a tough one. I mean, for that he. Well, the fireblim will help a bit, won't it? But he really could. He's got nothing. No real good. I mean, he could alter, I suppose, but he's got no real good plays at the moment, has he? No, I think. I think. Unfortunately, I do believe. Uh, Wind called it correctly when he said he was up against a tough one. Okay, that's a good heads up play. Yeah. Well done there. Oh, oh wow. Look at that though. Wow. Look at that. Telvani. He... Telvani always gets it on the, on the one you want to, don't they? And then you can just do that and then um, clear it, can't he? Play to his outs, yeah. Yep. Mm. That was pretty much the only way he was going to survive, is if he took it. I think if he took that chance. Yeah, it was well worth doing. I mean,. I He's still way up against it, I'm surprised he didn't. He didn't use the shackle. I don't think they're too bothered. I mean, I mean unless he's got a guard. Oh, he has actually, hasn't he? He's got the A leads, so um, he's going to need to um, take the ward off that. Yeah. Yeah, guardians. Guardian could be the uh, the game. Unless the they've clincher. got a fell the mighty, of course. They could have a fell the mighty. True. Or I mean, the odds, They've got three cards. Yeah, yeah, either would do, won't you? Yeah. So he's taking um, no chances, is he? Nope. It's definitely good stuff to live by. That's, you know, obviously my, my first thing is go for those guardians, but I mean, that's the difference, I think, yeah. between using them as kind of a crutch and using them strategically. And uh, he's mm. definitely. It just, it... He must be expecting them go. to have silence, mustn't he? I mean, that's why he's done that. So. <sighs> Oof. 
My goodness. Uh, I was going to say, it really is going to come down to if Kazantipus, if he keeps drawing his late game, and he has been. Yeah. Debilitate will help. Is it going to help enough, though? I don't know when he run it, I have to admit. So he'll um, get. In power cost one. Enough. Breakthrough. Unfortunately, mm. any which way he does it. Oh! Wow! That's a that's a great out. I mean, he's really he's finding the solution. I'm I'm pretty sure because Antipas has it yeah. though. Four damage in. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have that on there. Yeah. To oh. The Little. Oh wow! Hang they don't. Wow. Um. That's gonna be good. Okay. So. That's everything, I mean, including Daddy Dagoth, like, there is no charge that's going to get through an 8-8. Yeah, do they have a, um, vault? That's the problem. They've got oh. They're bound to be held on to the vault, aren't they? Well, this is their last chance because he's going to be able to alter in uh, Necromancer. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And that's going to... Do they have a rage? Oh. Yes, they do have a rage. Nice! Oh, no! We did what the after the amulet. That's... Yeah, but at least that was not, um... They can, um, debilitate for that. Mind you, that's not really going to massively help. Um, he needs to get that altar up, doesn't he? Yeah. The altar and the, um... Now, if that, let's just have to hope they don't have a silence. If they pass their own creature... Yeah. I mean, you see, though, like, I mean, just the, the way that he kind of skirted around without even, I don't know how much he was expecting or anticipating, but he skirted around Rage. With that Belly G, if he had not done the Odaving play and yeah. instead did the, um, you know, the the Guardians or what have you on that play, he would have gotten Rage to death. Yeah, he just needs to take himself just out of range, doesn't he? That was why he negation that, because he, he can fight for the next round. We must protect our spirit. Ah, yes. Oh. They're going to go for the health gain to the door. Yeah. Because it's this late game. They must go for the health gain. Otherwise, he's going to stabilize. Oh, no, they're going for the draw. Yeah, I mean, they kind of need to work in tandem, but yeah, I mean, hmm. transcription is going to be, well, I mean, he needs he needs to get it, be able to get it down safely, and right now he can't. No, that's the problem. He's going to have to debilitate, I think. Yeah. Um, Uh, Harpy? Harpy again, I think. I mean, now, this is really nail biting, isn't it? it? Nail biting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's very well, well played. I mean, that's the thing. Telvani, it does give you a lot of options, it gives you a lot of outs. They do seem to have all the answers, but you still have to play it well, especially in matchups like this. Uh, exactly. If I were playing Telvani, we yeah, I would have lost by now. <laughs> that's just the truth of it. Because. Same here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Um, well, I can't do both at the trouble. Mm. But he could Shadow Fen. Oh, it's still going to have a difficulty because that giant's going to be free. But he could Shadow Fen and kill the um, prankster. Yeah, which is a lesser of two evils. And with that, with yeah, I, I think because Antipas, I mean, it was a calculated risk, I'm sure. But that leaving that amulet up, I think, was was a, a pretty big. Oh no. He hasn't got guard on that side, though. That's the problem. Oh, he's got the shackle, though. That. Yeah, thank goodness. And that scythe. Oh, the death scythe. Then that's it. That's, I think, I mean, you. You. I don't think you claw back from Telvani at this point. They could have Mr. Ur, couldn't they? They could. I've never had nobody. I've heard Daddy Ur. I've heard all these things. Mr. Ur, so formal. Mr. Ur. He may stop by for a cup of tea, but I doubt it very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, they're definitely struggling now, aren't they? That's not going to save them. Yeah, they're they're drawing the bummer end of their deck right now. Yeah, I do kind of feel for them. I can understand what's like against Telvani, but really, you have to kill them before round nine, don't you? Yeah, it, yeah. Definitely before eleven, yeah. but most assuredly before nine. He's going to take out the um, support so they can't put Mr. Air out. Um. Uh, yeah, that's... that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Like, uh, it's, it's great seeing win play. It's great to see, you know, this kind of um, level of play. But at the same time, I've been in that situation. You get him... I mean, he has no runes left. 
when you're down under five health and Del Telvani can dig its heels in and come back, it's it's crushing. Yeah, yeah, we're recovering. Oh, you're not recovering, so yeah. you're thriving. You almost have more health than he does. I mean, look at that, Carl. I mean, what are the odds of getting that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That is. Jeez. The, I mean, they're going to concede, aren't they? I'll... I just I hope they do with dignity. Come on, Kazantipus, just you yeah, are the victor. Let's be a good game. Come on. Unless they've got some answer like the Red Deer. Oh, that, that would do the trick, wouldn't it? I've seen people do that before. They hang on for ages and then they just wait till the last um, thing and then Red Deer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they're not going to do that. Uh, come on, do the decent thing. Even aggro decks do that. It's, it's like it's almost like a, a back, to, like a way out. Just to get, there he is. Just not enough. But you're right. You're just like you said. You summoned him. That was pretty much probably the card in the whole deck that could have helped him out, and it. And red Imagine how broken Dagoth would be if it had the ability to uh, resurrect, if it, if any, any resurrection at all. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is that is that a is that workshop part of the deck? I'm not sure actually. It must be surely. It must be because um, I suppose he's probably got that for path, isn't he? I mean, it's, it is a probably a greedy deck. Oh yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He's admitted he's it. Got hmm. Yeah. He's got Thorana, so he's obviously got looking to play actions. So it just hasn't drawn path, has he? So um, I have to admit, I really hate her. <laughs> She's like an automatic kill if I can. Oh, he's got a premium one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always find it like she's she's got the smoker voice when she talks, but when she dies, she sounds like a young sprightly elf. She's like, I see, you know, I'm gonna kill you, and then when she dies, she's like, oh, <laughs> it's like apparently she loses. Yeah, she sounds. Huh. Sounds girlish, doesn't she? When she's uh, like her scream, it's very girly word. Yeah. Scream, isn't it? When she... I think the one I find the saddest when it gets hit is that big storm match rack. It makes the sad little sound when it gets hit. It's like it's it sounds really wounded, you know, yeah. as if it's hurt. Person, like that. I was the oh, that one's very cute. I think. Okay, a seven five is cute. I think the worst one in the game though is I think it's the silt strider. It's the thing the with the bad. dangly bits, and it has this like. Ooh, it sounds like a dolphin oh, yeah. crying or something. It's like, oh, wow. It does. And Evening Wolf against Dumb. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope it's not an invade. Let's hope it's a nice um, expertise deck. No, 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 no. He's dumb. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an invade deck. I... <laughs> dumb people do not it play expertise. Be. Expertise is for winners and amazing people. That's a nice sun and shadow, actually, isn't it? It is. Never thought I'd say that word, but it is a nice... Bring them there. And what is it about Telvani today? Everyone's, well, I know Wind plays Telvani a lot, but um, I'm not really seeing the wolf often when I see him. He's on Empire. Hmm. Bit of a hand. Well, I think I think a lot of because I know like um, Mark, uh, you know, like a lot of people that play like Empire or Telvani, they will change up because you're, a lot of your core cards stay the same. Your purple and green, that's kind of the core, and then you just. You have a, a little bit of flourish. Azora, give me uh, so I, I think you see a lot of cross. Um, uh, cross play with that. It's in paid. Unless it's. Although I do know Ella runs dragons with, with that card. Yeah, yeah. It's. it's, it's it, there's a possibility. But you, yeah, Evening Wolf playing in the shadows because he is expecting some tel uh, some invade shenanigans. I'll send them all to oblivion. Nice to have Pierce and Twilight for when they have their. What's that um, dreadful one? Um, Invasion party, isn't it? Yes, that is the worst. If that comes down on curve, boy, that's a that's a bad game. We must count on our wits. Uh, another cruel cool fire bloom, maybe? No, I don't think so. At this stage, it's a bit early, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, it, you know, anti gate tech for for Telvani. They really don't have a whole lot. Okay, it's there. not. It's dragon. It's dragons. Oh I'll goodness! I wonder if they've seen. Now Ella's been doing really well on on ladder with um, her built on dragons, but she runs it with um, this is interesting. blood sorceress. And I've seen a few people start to copy her dragon build. She actually has some um, data in there as well, like the health gain one, just to keep herself alive until she gets her dragons late game. But I'm just wondering if um, if they're copying that. I, that name 
Yeah, I wonder if she's played them or not. I'm just thinking. It'd be interesting to see if they put a Blood Sorceress in the mix, because um, I think she's. I've seen a couple of players that have started running that with dragons. Mm. It's a really good late game. Yeah. No. yeah. It's always a bummer that when you get that early game, it's almost like, um, what's your face? The, um, the 2-1 that does the damage when you break a rune, the Relentless Raider. Because, yeah. like, they're one cost, so they're good for early game, but you really want to see them late in the game, which is... It, so it sucks if you play your Blood Sorceresses in the first few turns, because they don't really get their value. I'll send them all um, to oblivion. No. But sometimes you need them early. So that removal, the Pit and Twice can be really useful. Um... Against dragons. Uh, yeah. I wonder if he's gonna roll the dice oh, here or maybe. not risk the. F but we know Telvani doesn't it's doesn't miss. Yeah. Telvani always gets what it wants, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's face facts. Okay, now he's gonna, gonna fire him now. Yep. There it is. So probably he's going to have a twilight at some point, and then but he'll probably wait until he's got a like a um, dark reaper so he can get more value. Like ah. This is an interesting dragon mix, isn't it? They're obviously they're running more Thunderstone dragon than um, that's not the expected dragons, is it? Yeah, that's. And I like the fact that he's using Wismoth. That's a really nice one, actually, isn't it? Uh, it really Both is. Ones. I don't think I've seen. Wow. Alt art one, isn't it? What's that? Is that an alt art with Mother? Or is that I, I don't play her very often? Is that oh no, that's the standard one. That's just a premium version of the original. <laughs> looks really good. So it looks like a scene from an anime. All right, well, Dumb is not living up to his name. First, he didn't choose a dumb deck. Second of all, he's playing really well. Got a nice handful of cards there, and yeah. Uh... So I think Undying Dragon's going to come out. Yep. Or maybe the fault. Oh, no. Bolt. Let's okay. get rid of the... Wait, how many... Was it just the one? Did he only play one, I'm guessing? Lightning Bolt? Oh, yes. Yeah, so he had played the one, so yeah. He managed to get the maximum value from that. And it looks like Dumb's playing... Now, now it feels bad, as now I feel like I'm calling him a name. But Dumb is actually playing uh, Control Dragons, it would seem. Does not have... Oh, I love that card. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I love that card. I don't know why... Obviously, I'm rooting for the wolf, but I love that frost kill dragon. So good. That's going to get five points. Going five points yesterday. Once I do everything myself. So good. This is the second time we've seen Elid Guardian being uh, passed up for other options when it's it's you know on curve. More or less. On... Another viper. That's excellent. Yeah. I mean. Some of the truly great players, they really do have mm, iron nerves, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, they're taking away his health. The douche. Doing the douchey things. And all. I mean, honestly, well, uh, Guardians are going to be the savior for Evening Wolf here. They're going to have to be, and they have to hope they don't have a Fel the Mighty. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's really smart play. I'm, I'm liking what they're doing with their dragon deck, to be fair. Um, obviously... <laughs> Plan bias. <laughs> I want the wolf to win, and he is a phenomenal late game player, so let's not discount him yet. But I also like what they're doing now. I wonder if, can we think of another way to pronounce the name other than dumb? What about Doom? Doom? Ah, uh, it could be. Actually, yeah, you're probably right. It is probably it is probably just an alternate spelling of they're Doom. In my sights. That actually makes a lot more sense. Like, not too many people are that self-deprecating. Okay, so, d d dumb or doom? I, yeah, I, dumb. No, I mean it could go either way. It really could go either way. But either way, I d doom dumb. He's gonna have to dark rebirth. Dark rebirth, definitely on that turn. Yep, absolutely right. Definitely. And then a sank pet. And he needs to take out that javelin as well. So um, he needs to take out that javelin with them. Um, so he needs to do twilight on the javelin so that they can't. <laughs> Pet, and you need to get rid of that javelin, otherwise they could just jab that and go face. Yeah, in the field lane, definitely. You were saying get rid of the javelin? Yeah, with, with Kiss and Twilight. Right. Oh! Okay, I was about to say, apparently they've already got it in their hand, but no. Okay, all three of them, so... First up, put a second guard down as well. Yep. Yeah. No breakthrough on the board. Yeah, Evening Wolf may have 
pulled a, a wind and been able to dig his heels in just in the nick of time. I've got a feeling they've got something. Um, I think they've got some um, But the problem we've got here is he doesn't have an altar up. Um, what does he have? Um, he's a zombie, but does he have a way to get, get an altar back? That's the question. So he did have. Did he have the. Right. Oh, I mean, there no, there he has it, does he? He's only had. Um, are they going to lock down the lane? Classic move. Oof. Really yeah, I mean, I can't really complain. I've done that myself before, and it's always a good feeling uh -huh. when you're the dragon master. No finish offs for the Red Mountain player. Oh, charge. Wow. That's a great keyword from the Poopstone dragon. Oh my god, he needs to use. He needs to viper that. For, um, I think he's gone now, unfortunately. He needs to viper and put down. Yeah, that was a misplay by Doom, because if, if he had put that in the shadow mm. lane, that could have been game, but... Yeah, exactly. I think we might see tinkering on... Well, no, because he still wants the guard up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that was... Is he going to tinker and get the amulet back? That's It's a bit late now. He's really pushed sort of that tinkered first, but um, he's got his reasons for doing it. Azora, give me strength! They've got two cards, haven't they? He might be able to stabilize if he can just hold on, but it's quite difficult. He'll have to sacrifice his drain guard, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely coming I down. Smell that, that was. The scent of the living. I mean, uh, Doom. The Red Mountain <laughs> has played a really good game, but I, yeah, that that one misplay mm. right at the end with uh, the dragon in the field lane. I'm not sure why. I mean, I mean, there may have been a strategic reason for that. I just, I just don't know why you'd ever want to play him there against when you know that there are vipers and shackles and things. Of that um, he used to. Oh, well, we can't memory red, can you? I was just thinking. Was that? Did he know that was going to create a guard? That was a pretty risky. He took a risk, but I think even it's a calculated risk. I was just thinking, what could he get for that's one more? And that's the best thing he could get, really. Yeah. I stand ready. It's a fresh, a fresh body. This was a worthy contest. Uh, I mean, I think he's expected to lose because they're, um, they've still got three cards. They're bound to have removal, aren't they? Well... Or, yeah, lightning bolts or charge. Poopstone dragon. So even when it's a dream dragon form, it still manages yeah. to... Oh, come now. There's no need for that. I have you now. Wow. Although that was pretty spectacular. Well, that's a shame. It was spectacular, but a shame. Yeah. You uh, okay, now we're kind of in the early stages. All right, so... Back into the fray with Maik, who has had a... I'm still back with our pack totems. Yeah, yeah, go spell sword. Yeah, that was that was the rage for a while back in... I don't know how long ago it was, but uh, you, like no matter what dual combo card you saw, it was always going to be fact totems with battle mage. Like, battle mage fact totems, scout fact totems, like every, every attribute, like within two turns you would see a neutral card come down. Uh, so Maik is bringing that back, I guess. Now, is he going to bait with the dragon just to get them to take um, it out? No, he's not. He's going to go for conjure it. Yeah, he may be waiting for uh, Brune break it a few more cards before trying to drain, but yeah, it's I mean, close. sometimes you have to bait, don't you, just to get some of them to clear clear the board. Oh, oh dear. That doesn't go well again. Where you, there. No. you can't defeat me. That's just sweet. Um, let's have a look at their discard pile, actually. So it's definitely greedy. Um, could be conscription because there's lots of two, there's, well, there's two drops, isn't there? Could be new. He's going to see if he can bait some removal out, isn't he? I mean, he needs to get her off board sharpish. It's always difficult. Viper striking again. Mm. I bark and burn. So there's going to be eye leads, isn't there? There's going to be necro. You will um, die where you stand. There's going to be necro, isn't there? You fight like a child. Necro's just endurance, isn't he? So it's going to be in there. Let's see if he can stick and not be silenced. Fingers crossed. I 
I will kill you. So Nike. Oh, the art on it, don't you? I mean, the art that's very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I will pass your purse as you throw it off. You can defeat me. kind of stuck a little bit. Okay, so he definitely needs to start. Um, I think he needs to put the banks of defenses out just purely. They, they're going to have another vibe, aren't they? You just know they are. If you put drain on the board. Oh yeah. I mean, he, and he needs to have something to, to clear that, doesn't he? Really. He's doing all right. I mean, Nike tag's not, or Nike TG is, is not really, hasn't really filled the board. I mean, there's no, could, I mean, he could whip out a huge threat, but right now, uh, Mike's not in any real danger, um, you know. No, it's more the fact that we're clearly delaying second conscription. Um, mm. Yeah, that's... That's why they're keeping the board clear, so... Um, oh, good call, good call. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's unsettling. It's only a couple. Well, it's one turn away, isn't it? Basically. Uh, next turn, they got. They um, still have the ring. Yeah. So they can. This should help. You must. Wow! They were just sitting on nothing but silence. Yeah. Exactly. You um, can defeat me. Hmm. They're probably fed up that they're gonna lose their um. What's the name? Well, he can fork on that, but can't he? Yep. It's... They're probably a bit fed up of that, but they kind of win in some respects because they're going to conscription next round, aren't they? I don't think they've journeyed, though, have they? Have they? No, they haven't played enough to, to make a journey worthwhile. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, they... Uh, yeah, I... I... <laughs> Mother of God. I guess it could be a worthwhile journey Dude. with a conscription. Nope, spoils the war. Almost worse. <laughs> All right, so now Mike is facing some some peril. I mean, he can. The board is going to be cleared for the most part after that turn. But. Well, they're relying on him clearing it, aren't they? They're relying on him clearing it, so they're obviously still searching. They must be still searching for the conscription, but they're relying on him clearing it, and then they've got a nice conscription, haven't they? Yeah. If he wants to annoy them, he could just put the guard up and then. Um, keep going face and just to then they've got to trade in order to get a decent conscription out well yeah that's that's really leaning into the the fact that they either have it or that they can get it because otherwise he's taken well yeah no, I, I see that they were so big like i mean taking 10 that that's a that's a that would be a pretty big i mean granted like you said he, he put the guard down maybe only take five but i smell yeah. the stench of the living it's definitely it's definitely a hard Hard thing to sort out. I mean, I'm, yeah. I was just wondering about whether. I mean, this is arguments to and from. You trusted me. How foolish. Breaking the rune isn't there, so I was just thinking. You don't want them to get any more draw, do you, really? No. For my but there, but he's, you know, Nike's not starving. Like, he kid continues to have oh, exactly. four cards. Oh. Oh, look at that. He needs to get a target for that, doesn't he? Maybe he'll get um, more. I will keep right more Oreos. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really the best of the, of the bargain. Isn't it? Some good old prophecy six sixes is not too bad. With drain, of course. Long rain. Oh, the oh my gosh! <laughs> you conjured one up, didn't you? Wow. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I do. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's disgusting. Sign me that's up. disgusting. Oh, oh. That really should be um, a one in a of deck. It shouldn't be. Um, yeah. One. Yeah, I don't know what the devs were thinking. Like that is such a. Yeah, yeah. E even at a twelve it's cost, a it should still be a, a one of. Hmm. Ridiculous. I, I think that's still, I still think they're conscription as well as um, New Era because a lot of people are so greedy they just run both. Yeah, yeah. I, I could do it. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it, but I couldn't do it if I wanted to because I'd just have right, it all in hand at the start. Sir. Here we go. This is New Era, probably. Well, you got to think New Era kind of helps feed into it. Like, let's say you've got a bunch of you know small critters on the board and you New Era them, they're back in your hand for the conscription. So I, I think there's some synergy there. It's probably hard to find, but it's it does exist. Thing as well, isn't it? Jeez. 
You just see it on, I mean, it's like Empire um, Telvani hybrid, isn't it? You get that a lot as well. What I find puzzling is how you get people able to run Alter Conscription New Era Empire. Mm. I mean, if it was one of us, we'd both be getting um, all that stuff in hand at the start. And yeah. wouldn't be able to play with <laughs> Lucas. Would not survive. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Exactly. But hey, your 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 honey you bun made a crucial. A darling. Crucial stop. Yeah, but said they're going to now use it for draw. That's my honey. We of the reach adapt and survive. I did a meme with the Doomfang ally, this particular artwork for it. And now every time I see it, I can't. I hear the line in my head. It's it's uh, it's an unfortunate, oh, yeah. an unfortunate Funny. mistake. Now, <laughs> <laughs> does that have a gem? Does that's not it? What's that? I will cut your purse. The uh, um, automaton. I keep wanting to call that. It's got um, regenerate. So let's see him. Give me cards, he says. Oh, it only gets yep. one. Okay. Nice. I mean, Ni Nike just has so much, so many cards. Like he's, I don't know where he's pulling them from, mm. but he is not running out. A lot of um, drawing empire, isn't there? I mean, they've obviously got the Feast Guild and, and that, and um, some of them run. Is it Great Viper for draw as well? Uh, not this less common. Some of them do, yeah. And that's mm. the backbreaker. Always it's the common. backbreaker. I hate you, Marak. You. Ah. Oh, oh yeah. And amulet. <laughs> That's going to be a concede, probably. Unless, oh, mind you. Oh, look at that. That's so cruel when Wait, that happens at the end of a you hear that? game and you get the all lower creatures. Well, especially, I mean, it's happened to me so many times. Where, like your opponent plays a big body, plays like some of their end game. And you're like, okay, if I can just draw any number, of, you know, any of my ten end game cards, I'll be in good shape. And you draw your your one and two drops. And you're like, come on, game, really. I do not fear death. Oh, jeez. Kajit is Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Ah, uh, sorry, my Oh! <laughs> you can do the wolf sound, and I can do the um, viper sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great cacophony oh, chorus of hisses and howls. All right, Hedgehog great. Whelp. Great name, Hedgehog Whelp. Mm-hmm. Obviously, has done a good bit of ramping. Oh, either that or he's benefited from uh, Martin. Let's have a look. Well, there's a nice edict. A nice edict waiting for Martin, isn't there? Although you might want. You no, know, you can't really wait for New Era. No, that's yeah. He's. I think. This should help you. Interesting. They're not we bothered about that. We'll see this. Uh, Evening while sitting on you know, just pretty much nothing but removal and the Grey Fox. Must I do everything myself? I mean, it would be quite funny if he edicts Martin, then steals him back, wouldn't it? That'd be quite fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just me being naughty. I'd, I'd, I'd do that for a laugh, personally. But he might want to save Grey Fox. So they're they're going to have eyelids, aren't they? Guaranteed. I think, I think that's what he's going to put. Yeah. Because he, he may us. actually have Martin in his deck somewhere, Everybody but does. and Kano definitely. Yeah, good face, good face damage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, in fact, if they let's hope they don't mind it for another couple of rounds, then you could steal them. I'm not, as I said, I don't like New Era, but um, if when you're in a, a friend is in a desperate yeah. situation, I'd hope that they will get good value. Now, are they going to hold off? We probably don't want to be giving him any cards. They've got the. Perhaps we can them. help one another. Hey, your favorite, uh, your favorite alternate art. Oh, now why can't they bring that back to one of the events? I'm desperate mother. for them to. I'm sure they will. That, that's got to be on the horizon. I feel like. I feel like I, because I got my two, so I'm sure you, yours is coming. Have you got your, have you done your event yet to get that card back, the one you wanted? Yeah, I would, <laughs> Mike, the new era is a fair and balanced card. Yeah, yeah. We're saying the same thing. 
Um, oh, look at that. Oh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, and, you know, Joseph pointed out that you can get the premium card back if you get top thousand. I went zero and three uh, the first time I played. I was like, screw this. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with it. I just I, So I got the card Sweet. back because I, I played one session, but I, I just don't have yeah. it in me to to keep going. It's just it was very a very frustrating experience. Um, did you get a lot of Waxway Monk? Because... Um... Ratty was saying he had loads of wet brain mark. That's why you had the dismal run. Um. Yeah, it was. It was. I would say it was a nice assortment. I only had because I also played on my alternate account. I had much better results with that same deck, just much better results. And uh, there were only two invade, no workshops, no real shenanigans. It was yeah. a lot of uh, classic aggro, like different versions of aggro. Um, and yeah, there was. A, I did. I did lose badly to a uh, wax wane deck. Um, I think there were only like two monk decks, and I think I won one and lost one. But yeah, it was uh, it was just one of those things where you just you don't draw what you need, and suddenly they've got you know the crazy crazy good draw. Yeah. But at least I got the standard version of the back, which is really what I wanted. I didn't even know. I didn't even think about the fact that they could have a alternate art or a uh, the premium version. Well, that's ideal having that um, very handsome I'll go in. I mean, look at that you nice armor. Um, oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. The answer to conscription. But he's got another one. I don't know how. Yes, I don't one. know how amazing it'll be, but he's got another one. Personally, I'd be naughty in a, a new era now if I was going to run new era, because I think that would annoy the hell out of him. Yeah. 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 I'm assuming he's running Journey as well. Which one? I'm assuming that Wolf is running Journey as Journey. well. I mean, that was okay. a fairly lean description, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Another Odevang. Here we go. Yeah, th this... To be fair, that's my ideal. I'd love to be able to do that with Odevang. I've done it before, but... Um... Oh, he is definitely new airing this. And he this new era ring, definitely. Hedgehog must not have been played against uh, many Empire decks because you do not... <laughs> <laughs> I know that person's name. I've played them before. Le uh, Lebowski? Greetings. Lebowski, yes. Um, several times. Just trying to think. I think I've normally beaten them, but that's when I've been 11 cards. be interested to see Can when... Um, how Sorcerer matches up against Telvani. You'd think it would struggle, wouldn't you? Because... Um, have on that extra versatility, but we shall see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this is not, yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking this is uh, uh, Andy's um, assassin, My whatever, uh, assassin, uh, than your eyes. Uh, ox, uh, Nick's ox, but obviously this is not assassin, this is sorcerer, as you pointed out, so I think this is just his, his heavy blue, like Andy Nick's loves, he loves yeah. intelligence. Oh, no, he oh, can't have that much, oh. he whiffed. You traitor! The cunning ally pulled a brave. Well, not <laughs> not pulled a brave, but <laughs> as in what it, she would do if you were playing with her. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, people used to laugh because that always whiffed in my tribunal deck. Um, always. <laughs> um, in fact, I joke that it's that card art because um, people play the old-fashioned cunning ally the, and that the non-old. You know, this is the old art one. This one always the old art one always whiffed. Oh, wow. Oh well. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much to Brave for dual casting with me through this whole thing. I, I don't know exactly how long this video is ultimately by the end, but I know we've got it. We were we were uh, online together for two and a half hours, so I'm sure it's a good chunk of time. So thank you so much for that. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Feedback is always welcome. Hopefully I got the levels right and you're able to hear her all or, or most of the time at least. But I uh, definitely appreciate your time. And anybody else, if you are interested in co-casting, let me know and we can sort something out. It's pretty much as simple as getting on Discord, getting in a, in a chat, and uh, off we go. So, um, yeah, again, thanks to Brave. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, keep playing.